So for you to make sense of how to make bag mask ventilation work and also know where the problems are, I think the three axis model of the airway probably suits best. For example, if you look at the three axes, you've got your oral axis, which goes straight back, so straight back here, and you've got your pharyngeal axis, which goes this way, and then your tracheal axis, which goes this way. You'll notice that those axes aren't aligned, which means that air has to flow almost through an acute angle over a right angle just to get into the trachea. As you can see with bag mask ventilation, I've got this inflatable soft mask, and that just gets placed onto the face. This mask has to create a good seal so that no air escapes. That way, I can generate a positive pressure, which then forces air through the mouth around that corner, and therefore you're kind of getting airflow through the oral axis, pharyngeal axis, and tracheal axis, therefore inflating the lungs. And in this position, you can see that there's rise and fall of the chest.